as I have told you in my previous module that uh, we will talk about later on about the impeller choice because in agitation system impeller is a very critical because the main object of agitation system is the mixing that how mixing or we can say that how the good mixing can be achieved. So, what are the negative effect during this mixing? So, that is only depend upon the type of the impeller. So, agitators on the base of the impellers or on, ba on the base of their working is classified into two main categories. One is radial flow category and other is axial flow category. So, as concern the radial flow mixing that is only when the liquid flow from the impeller is initially directed toward the wall of the reactor mean when there is the movement of the impeller the fermentation media first pushed toward the wall of the fermenter toward the parallel to the radius of the fermenter that is why that is known as radial flow. But as concerned the axial flow that the first the medium and the impeller push the medium to the bottom with the parallel to the axis, but the movement is toward the bottom. So, that is the axial mean on the main axis, but as is of the radial then there is a this kind of flow, but in that case that is on the bottom. So, the radial flow impellers are primarily used for gas liquid contacting, but as concerned the axial flow impellers provide more gentle, but efficient mixing. We will talk about details while talking about with the graphical representation about the radial flow as well as the axial flow. Here you can see that in this uh, slide that these are the different different radial flow impellers. This is known as uh, you can see that Rushton turbine as we have seen in our previous module when we, we are observing a one diagram. So, here these are the four blade and this is a six blade and this is having a flat bladed impellers these are different type of uh, radial flow impellers and their shape and uh, the blades. So, impellers are basically the associated with the blades sometimes there are four blades sometimes there are six blades. So, the number of blades is also having the part of the impeller system. So, here in this uh, slide you can see when there is a radial impellers or a radial flow that what is the direction of the medium while the impellers are uh, agitating. So, you can easily see that uh, as I have already told you in case the media is uh, pushed toward the periphery just parallel to the radius of the fermenter. So, with the radial flow impeller the liquid is pushed toward the wall of the tank that is along the radius of the fermenter. So, the radial flow mixing is not an efficient as axial flow we will talk about in detail about the axial flow, but as in comparison axial flow considered to be more efficient, but radial flow has their own positive factors as concerned the radial flow impellers much higher input of energy because there is a more pushing. So, that is the more energy that is why there is a more energy consumption in uh, the radial flow, but there is a positivity in that. So, as can we say that uh, the radial flow are not more efficient and having more consumption of the energy. On other hand the radial flow impellers are designed to generate high shear conditions because when there is a high shear then there is a breakage of the air bubbles. So, having a good uh, distribution of the uh, air bubbles into the fermenter vessels. 
in this slide you can see easily that what happens when there is a radial flow impellers move what happen when there is a chance of collision between the air bubbles then there is a more chance of uh, uh, you see separation or cutting of uh, those uh, air bubbles. So, in case of the radial impellers the bubble size reduce to a maximum minor site. So, that is why the radial impellers are mostly used when we talk about having a high shear effect uh, condition in fermentation vessel.